Welcome to PYP Masterpieces with Total AI. My name is Cindy Blackburn, and I've been a PYP educator and coordinator for the last 10 years. I love helping educators just like you level up your practice in the PYP, and I truly believe that Total AI is an incredible tool for doing just that. In this series of videos, I'll be walking you through the process of planning a unit from start to finish, all using Total AI. For this series, I'll be showcasing one of my grade five units of inquiry on innovation and sustainability. Specifically, we'll look at properties of materials and how we measure them. We'll also look at the empathetic design cycle and how we meet consumer needs and how products have changed over time to become more sustainable. For this video, we'll be in that first stage of the inquiry, asking. In this stage of the inquiry, we're really trying to figure out what our students already know and what they might want to explore in further inquiry. One incredible strategy to use early on in your unit is provocations. So what exactly is a provocation? I love this definition from Kath Murdoch. She defines provocations as a spark that activates wonder. A provocation might look like an experience, hearing a new story, learning about a new problem to solve, working with an expert, or conducting an experiment. Provocations come from the idea of constructivism, that our students have prior knowledge, prior experiences, an entire cultural narrative that they're bringing to the classroom. And as we're provoking the learning, we're trying to figure out how this new learning might fit into their prior lived experience. As we provoke, we're answering three major questions. One, what do my learners already know? Two, what misconceptions might exist? What mix-ups might they have that will get in the way of learning something new? And most importantly, since it's an inquiry, we're trying to figure out what questions our learners might have that we can take forward into the learning. One of my absolute favorite strategies for provocations is the use of provocation tables. You can see this provocation table is one I used in my grade five civilizations unit. So I introduced this two weeks before our unit began, and I just slowly started putting provocative objects and images on this table, and I listened closely to see what interests and questions emerged from my students. Now we'll take a look at how Total AI can support you in coming up with ideas for what exactly to include on your provocation table. So here we are on Total AI, and as you can see, I've got lots of prompts that I can choose from to just start planning my unit. And one of those choices is to create a provocation table to pique student interests. Let's see what ideas Total AI comes up with, of things I can include on my provocation table to really get students excited about learning about sustainability and innovative design. One of the best parts about working with Total AI is that it has all the context of your unit baked into its responses. So it knows that this is a grade five, how the world works unit, and even is pulling in the standards that I've selected. So we can see that in some of its responses, like the recycled plastic bottle project or the solar powered toy. What's really cool is that I can also iterate on this response. So I might add a question about connecting to my local environment. So I'm living in Colorado Springs. What are some things I can pull in from my community to explore these concepts? Awesome. So it's realizing that I'm here in the Springs, that we have a giant mining community, uh, that we have a Native American culture that we can tap into to understand this concept of sustainability, of interdependence, and of change over time. So it's becoming more and more refined as I interact with it. The one final piece I want to add here is that I think a great provocation table has a space for students to post their questions. So I'm going to ask it for creative ideas of how I could do that. So here it's starting to generate for me. I see it's given me two really great examples of a question wall, journal entries, a question jar. Oh, I love that. So if learners are feeling a little bit shy about posting their questions publicly, you could do a question jar. I never would have thought to do that. So as you can see, this is completely iterative. Once I'm happy with this, I can say, great. And what I love is that once I ask it to create the learning experience, it's going to put it into a format that works with my Toddle Planner. So I don't need to go back and copy and paste and reformat. It's simply putting this in here. It's got student facing instructions and everything I need to share this learning experience in my grade book in my classroom with my students or as an artifact in their portfolio. So I'm just ready to go, click add to learning experience and my provocation table is ready to use in my classroom. One thing that I always say about provocations is to provoke early and provoke often. So while provocation tables might be one thing you try, there's lots of different strategies and totally I can support you. So we've got tuning in prompts, role play prompts, all these different things that you can try to spark learners' curiosity and really garner their questions. 
because remember, it's not an inquiry unless students have a question to take forward. I'll see you in our next video. Thanks so much for watching and happy inquiring.